So local government is in a pivotal position at the moment in terms of delivering um, effective quality place-based outcomes and what I mean there is that um, we have the ability to focus on using our people, process, technology, data and our innovation to ensure that we collaborate effectively in the places that our people and our communities live and deliver more joined up, streamlined public services to them. It is absolutely fundamental that local government plays uh, a pivotal part in that because we have the wherewithal and the experience and the expertise and the means to do so. What we want to do is encourage um, the culture and the environment um, the appropriate leadership, democracy, and ensure that that joined up approach is being applied across public services to ensure that we move away from the silo-based mentality that's previously existed and that we are looking at, at all times, how we focus on, on our customers and the people that we serve and ensuring that our services are far more available, applicable and meet their needs. So customer-centric services at the heart of everything that we do. So the timing, as I've mentioned already, is, is absolutely right. Um, there is an awful lot going on in the space of collaborating and coming together. And when I talk about collaboration, primarily from, from what we're seeing, it is that social care and health space that is time-consuming, is expensive, is onerous, and at the moment, probably um, is quite fractious. The experimentation and the work currently going on um, is about joining up data, data records, um, to provide a more s seamless and a streamlined service to our people. There are a number of um, initiatives underway that are facilitating us being able to better understand how we join up services, so the local care health records, and we have some exemplars across the, the, the uh, country. If we could get a better view of the outcomes of these exemplars and understand how we are better able to join up our social care and health data, then I think there is some real merit in understanding the benefit of the outcomes that we achieve through these discrete pieces of work. So that, that's a, a, an exceptionally ripe area. Planning, waste management, um, a number of these other kind of frontline services where there is a lot of duplication and effort in antiquated systems. Um, if once again we are able to establish some best practice and, and share and scale up, then I think there is some real opportunity and potential here. I think it's, um, for, for me, it's been really refreshing, refreshing on a, a, a couple of levels. Um, first of all, the quality of speakers has been really, really um, key and spot on in terms of keeping the people engaged and wanting to stay for the rest of the day. So the, the people so far have talked in a very kind of intelligent and informed way. They clearly have a view about the way in which we can collectively come together to make a difference. Um, they are sharing an insight of their ideas and views, so that's been very beneficial. They've talked about some of the kind of common things that we are hearing, building trust and confidence and getting the public to want to work with government bodies. So that's been hugely beneficial. Um, to have the Minister of Implementation here in his new role, that was very, um, very engaging too. So, so good to hear his support for the challenges that we're facing in the sector. Um, I think the afternoon session too looks very interesting because there is an opportunity to participate and share ideas. Um, and for me, I think, the, the fact that I am lead, leading di leadership and diversity uh, initiatives across um, public sector, it is great to see the, the balance of the, of the panels. Um, it, it is very, very important to ensure that we are um, reflecting the people that, that serve both in the sector and the people that we serve in the wider communities. Um, so that's been refreshing too. So um, looking forward to the rest of the day.